Interviews are probably the worst thing ever. So much worse than exams. This looks so good. Gonna get a little sweet treat. I've got a new grad interview in three days. So that system design, coding, behavioral, the whole shebang. I definitely have to practice for the next few days, grind that lead code. But today I'm starting out with some behavioral prep. Let's go. Okay, I'm at the coffee shop right now and I just have a bit of interview prep to do. Today I'm going to be working a little bit on the behavioral parts just because I think sometimes people forget about it but it's really nice to come prepared and know a bunch about the company and why exactly you want to work there besides the culture, the work from home, the cool people. And also if I have time I'm going to maybe get to do some lead code problems because my interview is coming up in a little bit. and I'm going to meet up with some of my friends now for happy hour. So I have to change my outfit into something less studious. This top is from Garage and these pants are from Oak and Fork. This jacket is thrifted, which is insane because it fits me like so well. And on my bag, I've got the latest addition to my Jelly Cat collection, my new little boiled egg. I'm meeting with my friends at this new restaurant that I haven't been to called Coast. They have yummy seafood happy hour and I'm excited. Let's go. I got a bit of interview practice to do today. Hopefully that goes well, and if it does, I'm gonna be going skiing later today. The weather's been a lot colder lately, so there's been actually snow on the mountain. So first, I'm gonna do a crap ton of lead code. There wasn't much snow this entire year until like this week and suddenly there's so much snow. I think everybody in Vancouver is on this mountain at this point because the parking lots are insanely full. And if you look out the window, you can't see anything, right? That's basically my visibility as well. I can't really see more than like 20 feet. I really wanted to show you my jacket quickly. This is from Vintage Store in Chinatown and I got it a couple years ago. It is so cute. It's got daisies in the galaxy on it or something. Let's get my boots on. Oh my gosh, putting on ski boots. I really wish I was a snowboarder because it looks way more comfortable than skiing. Oh my goodness, look, my hair is frozen. I ended up going on, I think seven runs, which is good. And some of them were ones that I haven't been on before. It was really fun. I had a lot of fun today. <laughs> okay. My interview is in five minutes and I've been freaking out for the last two hours. I just hate interviews so much. Not like partly because of the result, like interviews are all or none, you get it, you don't get it. My stomach feels like knots, like 
I, I feel so bad. Like I feel so jittery. I totally screwed up last night. At 8 p.m. I had a giant matcha drink. <laughs> I added eight spoons of matcha powder, which is about 150 milligrams of caffeine. And it just didn't go to bed. And so here I am. I feel like the caffeine is still there. I feel anxiety and I don't know what to do. Like I just want it to happen. I don't know what to do. Interviews are probably the worst thing ever. So much worse than finals. So much worse than exams. I'd rather do that. Okay, it's in four minutes. Okay, I'm gonna try to calm myself and do this. Okay, I finished the interview. I think it went all right, but it definitely could have gone better. We can always do better. I have a lot of energy because of all the caffeine and the adrenaline, so I think I'm gonna go on a run just to clear my head and have a good rest of my day. I ran down to catch the sunset. Another day, another bun me at the beach. <laughs> So I got a banh mi and there's also a tater tot. This looks so good and I'm so excited I had to run down to catch the sunset and eat. My mouth is watering. That is amazing. Got sauce all over my face because it didn't come with napkins, but that was the most delicious banh mi ever. It was so good. It is the most beautiful day out in Vancouver today and I'm gonna do what I love doing the most which is grabbing my backpack and going on a walk and then getting a bunch of groceries. I absolutely love doing that, it's so much fun. And then I don't have to carry around bags of groceries because it's just in my backpack. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Honestly, the sunshine just makes me so much more happy. The seasonal depression is real and I'm, we're finally crawling out of that space so I'm excited. Today in Vancouver it is 12 degrees Celsius and people got their shirts off, people have shorts on, people are playing beach volleyball and some people are even swimming in the water which is insane because I know that water is freezing cold. I just feel so much happier when the sun is out. I feel the same energy everyone else does like everyone is outside and it's awesome. I love it and everyone's bringing their dogs out. It's so fun. up a chicken plate from one of the shawarma places at English Bay. I was feeling a bit FOMO because I was seeing everyone eat at the beach and have a little picnic and I really wanted to too and especially as the sun is setting it's like ugh, I just want to eat and enjoy the sunset. Wow that looks really good. I really cleaned up. That was super good and I'm still hungry though. I could eat more. The time is now 9.44. I am gonna get a little sweet treat. It's the last day I can claim my free birthday bubble tea from Cha Time and they close in 45 minutes. So I'm gonna go pick that up right now. I'm so excited. I love bubble tea. Who doesn't? It's amazing. Let's go. Okay, got the goods. My coupon was expired, but he, they just gave it to me for free. Mmm. <laughs> <gasps> Oh. Okay. Mm. Cold. Frozen. Cold. I'm about to reach a very important achievement today. Give me one second. Boxing without an opponent for tra training portion? Oh, Shadow! <gasps> Guys, look at this. I have been playing Cody Cross, this word game, for 100 days in a row. I don't think I've done anything for 100 days in a row, except breathe and eat. So they'll give you a word prompt and then you have to guess what the word is. Basically, crossword puzzle. This is just really cute. I love it, it helps me fall asleep and I thought I would share my milestone with you today. 